and the swarp speed, near enough, epic. So, today I've decided to try and rebuild this beast. Look at that cool optical illusion. This is obviously just spinning on my bench with one set of blades, so when it has the other set on, it's going to be disco time. It is going to be disco time for sure. So yeah, that's pretty cool my friends, I'll just show you a view from the front. So that's the front view. With the one set of blades on, so that's the job for today. The electric bike motor is there, which I need to paint. Uh, I've got everything else pretty much ready. I have also got another bearing, because originally I only had two. Uh, so it had one at the front and then that one at the back, but I've bought another one, so now it has three, so that's good. And also, <clears throat> the holes that hold the bearings in, I don't want to get bashed, that are under there, they were 10 mil, but I've enlarged them to 12 mil uh, for better quality. So yeah, that's the job for today. Peace. As I say, this one's coming down because I want to try out the two sets of blades on the electric bike jobby. Somehow, this flipped down. And Elon's leg come to a rest on this thing. So the whole weight of the turbine is on that. But let's see if we can lift it up and do that again. So this is the bodged up generator in all its glory. The good thing about these now is I can actually put that on the bench upside down and we can have a play around with that, see if we can get it running better or get any of the problems sorted out with it. But yeah, so back to the beast. Don't often get, get to see it perfectly from the side. Sweet. Actually, in the interest of testing, I'm going to put the turbine up with just the back set of blades on to see how they function. I'm gonna strap Elon's leg out of the way just in case well that soon started going round when a bit of wind came along and this is from the rear of the turbine remember Look at that, with one set of blades. I'm on the phone camera, so it's only got 30 FPS, even though it's HD, but you can see that it's just very smooth. I haven't even done the guide ropes up on the tower yet. Yep, warp speed, baby, woo! Jeez, with two on, that thing is gonna be crazy. That thing is going to be crazy and that's not even windy. That's why these small blades are actually a lot more fun than the big ones in a way because they're a lot more forgiving and you can really, really get them going. See if we get another gust of wind. There's hardly anything at the minute. You can actually see the bolt. We'll be able to work out from that how fast it's going.
bit of wind now. Towers rocking back and forward a little bit. <laughs> it's quite amazing really. How beautiful that seems to be running. There's just a little click coming from somewhere which I'm not really wor worried about. Nice. So I've just got to drill these holes out to 8mm to take a nice big chunky bolt. So that's got both sets on. When it uh, is raised, it should be pointing in the right direction to catch the wind. So I'll leave it on record uh, for now. It won't take long. <clears throat> wow, look at that. That looks amazing on the screen. So it's a little bit clankier because I didn't have enough spare M8 to put a M8 bolt in the front, which is what it needs, but it's not going to fall off. And it's just a test of how well they catch the wind. And there isn't much wind today. As soon as I pull the tower up on the right hand side, left hand side, sorry. Remember this is the back end of the turbine which is why it appears to be spinning anti-clockwise and when you look from the front it's spinning clockwise. There you go. There's still a tiny bit of wobble at the top. Maybe the shaft's not quite perfectly centered. But still happy with that. Yeah, still got that tiny wobble. Gorgeous blue sky today. That's about 50 RPM, I think, 50 to 60. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's about 60 RPM just ticking over. about 75 I think back to about 60 about 90 these are all estimates Should get a gust of wind in a minute because you hear it first in the trees. It arrives, here it comes. That's hard to tell how fast that's going now, I'd say 120. There's the whoosh. Sun bouncing off the blades. Beautiful. It's two blade hubs working very well. It's 
It's roasting me on now. I'm holding the camera now, so if it's a little bit shaky, I apologize. 